What's up guys and welcome to Tan Tennis channel. From previous video I made, I have played with the Technifiber T5305 several times already and I like it a lot. Actually I am also considering buying one for myself. However, in the T5 Isoflex line of products, there are 7 racket options for you to choose. From left to right, the young competitors range is for kids and beginners. The competitors range probably for intermediates and for ladies. And the top competitors range is for advanced and college players who can handle the weight. So among the 7 options, I'm interested in the 305 and the 315 because they have 98 square inches head size. The main differences are the balance and the string pattern. The 305 is head heavy balance and has more dense pattern of 18 by 19. The 315 is head light pro staff kind of racket and it has a more open pattern 16 by 19. Actually the 300 also has 98 square inches head size and 16 by 19 pattern but I don't want to try it because it's still head heavy balance so I think if you can play with the 305 then probably you should go with it. Okay, before we go to the court, please like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the next content. Thanks! Okay, let's start from the baseline. The T5305 gives me a lot of power, but mostly comes from the plow through. What I mean is, it's not a free power, so if you swing slow, you will not get the power you want, but if you really swing out, it will be a bomb, explosiveness. Anyway, because of the head heavy balance, the swing weight is really high. According to the tennis warehouse, the swing weight on this frame is at 338, which is a lot, you know. It's really hard to swing and maneuver feels like holding a sledgehammer, but it rewards your hard work. The spin on this racket is better than I would expect from an 18 by 19 string pattern. The launch angle is high, sometimes I swing out and I thought it would go long, but it ended up in a court with the spin. What I like the most playing with this racket is my backhand. It gets a lot of pops more than playing with my Blade 98. I can flatten the ball and play with a lot of top spin. And I like that the racket gives me some options that I can choose. The racket has good control but less than the Blade 98 and PS97. Probably on par with the E-Zone 98 on directional control. I feel like I did very well on placing the ball left and right with enough pace that give me some advantages over my opponent. But on the depth control, even with the spin, I still feel like sometimes I can shoot the ball out when I swing out on the attack. The downside on this racket is the maneuverability. Although the T5305 is forgiving, the high swing weight kind of forced you to have an early preparations. I feel like I was late to the ball many many times especially playing at this court which is a bit faster than the purple court that I often go to. So yeah, I need to remind myself to prepare early and hit in front of my body a bit more. On the serve, I think it's good on the power aspect, but the placement of the ball are not exactly where I want it to be. It feels like I'm not 100% in control of the racket. Let's move on to the T5315. This is actually the first time I play with this one. On the first touch, I like it more than the 305. Basically, this one is headlight balanced, and I'm used to using a headlight racket. So, that's probably why I like it. It doesn't feel much of a burden to swing like the 305. The power is lower, obviously. I think the spin and launch angle are not that much different. But I would say the 315 is a bit lower than the 305, but not noticeable. The feel on this racket is stiffer than on the 305. 
the frame feels more solid and firm to me. The 305 kind of feel like it is more flexible. At the contact point, I can feel that the 305 bends a bit. But on this one, very solid and stable. I would describe the 315 as a pro staff that is more forgiving, softer, and easier to hit with, especially on the backhand side. On the control, I feel more confident going with the 315 than the 305, especially on the attack. The racket has more accuracy and precision. Even on the difficult shots, I can still pull off a winner that I'm pretty sure I cannot do with the pro staff and the blade. Overall, I would say the 315 is less powerful, but it is more reliable when playing a match. To sum up, I like playing with both rackets, but I don't think I can handle the swing weight of the T5 305 for long. At first, it feels good, but after that, it feels more like a liability, so probably not my everyday racket. I know I could not play well with it if I'm not in a good form, so I would prefer the T5 315. I think it's a lot easier to play with, it has better control and feels more stable. I can move well with it and attack with more confidence. On the volley, again, the 305 is difficult to move with, so I can be slow to react at the net. The 315 can move way better and faster. The feel at the net is indifferent, so I think both are very good for net game, good touch, good feel. And that is all for today. Thanks for watching guys, and see you next time.